from NBC26, weather with meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Good morning. We're currently sitting at 28 degrees in Appleton. Taking a look at our Valley Tower cam. North winds at 13 miles per hour starting to pick up across the area. Snow starting to move into northeast Wisconsin. We still have this area of a low pressure. This storm system that's still working on through. We're not done yet. We do have some snow there. You can see it off to the south and west. That is what's heading our way. It's going to work on through through the morning and then finally we'll be rid of this system. Here's a closer look at the satellite and radar picture. Some areas of light snow, flurries, some drizzle, but the steadier snow still just off to the south and west starting to move on into the area. And this will work on through through the morning hours. Visibility is not bad right now, but that will be changing as the snow works in. Also, the winds pick up as well. That'll further reduce visibility across the area for this morning. So travel will be a little bit tricky out there and then things will improve this afternoon. Temperatures out there 30 in Green Bay. We're at 32 in Kewanee, 31 in Wapaka, 30 in Clintonville, 31 in Shano and 26 in Anago. Wind speeds right now are starting to pick up out of the north and will continue to do so as we go through the morning. Gusts today as high as 30 miles per hour are possible. Snow tracks on in through the morning hours. Some burst of moderate to heavy snow possible and that could put down about one to three inches of snow from Green Bay and then points south and to the east. Lesser amounts to the north and west. Not going to see as steady of snow there. Then tonight we are going to see those clouds break up a bit. Much colder as well. Highs tomorrow only right around 20 degrees with increasing clouds and some light snow tracking back in as we head on into your Thursday evening into Thursday night. Here's a look at the snowfall forecast for this morning. Nothing major as far as snow totals go, but enough to definitely cause some problems out on the roads. Storm totals yesterday and today impressive, especially when you consider how much water content there was. We picked up just over five inches, about 5.3 inches, I believe it was in Green Bay, and that actually broke a record with the liquid that was inside. 0.65 inches of liquid water was in that snow. That's a lot for snow, so pretty impressive that we broke a record here yesterday. Today, 33 degrees, morning snow, then some sunshine this afternoon. Tonight, temperatures really drop off, and then your extended forecast. Pretty quiet weather Thursday and Friday, although colder, some light snow again Thursday evening and Thursday night, but that's not going to add up to all that much. That snow Saturday and Sunday won't add up to much either, but Monday could see some accumulations as temperatures continue to warm up. And then next week, Tuesday, temperatures will fall throughout the day and it gets much colder after that. All right, but still there's a little bit more for us to deal with today. Yes, so give yourself some extra time and just kind of keep an eye on the radar. NBC26.com. We have an interactive radar you can check out there too. And make sure you're checking our school delays and closings this morning. There There's are some schools who are uh, on delay this morning, yeah. so check that out as well. All right, thanks, Matt. Yeah. Well,